Good morning, everyone. This is Doc Fred Acosta once again. Today, we're going to talk about effective microorganisms. This is a blockbuster technology. But before we continue, uh, you can click the subscribe button and the notification bell. So that now whenever we have new videos, you will be notified immediately. So, what are microorganisms? Microorganisms or microbes are tiny single cellular organisms. They are bacteria, fungi, viruses, and they are found everywhere. First discovered in 1674 by Anton van Lee, Leeuwen Hoek, using his microscope. Now, probably they are the first allied being on Earth about 3.8 billion years ago. So they are very vital in every industry, especially in organic and natural farming, which is, of course, uh, our main area and main, you know, topic for today. So basically, there are billions of microorganisms in the human body. Some are beneficial and some can be harmful and they can cause disease. So there are good guys and there are bad guys. So we have the angels and we have the devils, of course. So what are the functions of beneficial microorganisms? First, fixation of atmospheric nitrogen. So nitrogen from the atmosphere is trapped and converted into soluble form during thunderstorm. And nitrogen from the air is fixed and processed by nitrogen fixing bacteria and then store it in the roots of plants, as you have seen in the picture. Another function of beneficial microorganisms is decomposition of organic waste and residues, right? So in organic farming, it is very important that we recycle because the more we recycle, the more we become sustainable. Also, they suppress soil-borne pathogens, right? So personally, uh, in my farm, what I normally do, I soak my seeds using EM, okay? And uh, after that, I, I plant them. Also, they recycle and increase availability of plant nutrients in the forest, okay? So when those leaves fell onto the ground, okay, these microorganisms will recycle and then increase the availability of nutrients for plants to grow again right? and also uh, microorganisms can help degrade toxicants including pesticides and other chemicals all right so basically for those people who are gathering you know vegetables and fruits from the market and you want to feed them to your pigs one way to degrade these toxicants, including pesticides and other chemicals, is through the use of EM okay, or microorganisms. And then production of simple organic molecules for plant uptake. Now, how about the harmful microorganisms? One, they induce plant diseases, right? And stimulation of soil-borne pathogens so basically if you have diseases most likely there are bad bacteria available in the environment and then immobilization of plant nutrients so no, no matter how much fertilizer how much we you know enrich the the plants they are the plants are not benefiting from them all right because of the presence of harmful microorganisms and of course, 
if, for example, we are not getting 90-95% germination rate, most likely there are harmful microorganisms you know, present in our soil. And also, they inhibit plant growth and development. So whenever we see plants that are not growing very well, they are not maturing very well, they are caused by harmful microorganisms. So for this first part okay, of microorganisms, uh, I would like to end there. And then we go to the next part as we talk about EM technology. Again, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and then click that notif notification bell so that whenever we have new videos, you will be notified. And if you like this video, uh, you can share it with your friends. Our next topic will be about EM technology. All right.